PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete here to annoy you again. How are you fellas doing today? I'm doing good over my side of the world. The sun's shining, the birds are singing, and all's good with the world, guys. Anyway, I don't know if you guys are anything like me. When you first started thinking about plasma cutting, or you're just thinking about buying your plasma cutter, the last thing you want to do is spend a whole shitload of money on a compressor. Um, well, I didn't anyway, because, you know, I didn't have any money to spend, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But uh, I did have one of these little small baby compressors lying around the workshop. So today, guys, what I'm going to do, we're just going to do a quick video, see if we can actually use this, or maybe even a smaller compressor than this, and actually get some useful cuts out of the old plasma cutter. I'll turn the pressure right down and we'll see what the minimum pressure is that we can actually cut with. Anyway guys, same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day to me at Peach Tools if you want. Or even come say good day in the comments below guys. So let's get into it. Yeehaw! So I've done a couple of videos with these little compressor before guys, but I've been using it flat out and we've been timing how long we can cut with it flat out. But what I want to do today is even if you've got a smaller compressor than this, I'm going to try backing it off on the uh, pressure. Well, I will leave the pressure that it cranks up to at about 120 psi. But then what I'll do is I'll back off what the regulator actually gives us to the plasma torch. And I might find that if I back off what the regulator gives us, and I can balance it up between cutting properly and the air delivery, you might find that you can get a lot more use out of this than what we think. Because the last thing you want to do, guys, is go spend a shitload of money on a plasma cutter and then find out that you've got to go and spend a hell of a lot more money on a compressor. Sometimes a compressor costs you more than a bloody plasma cutter. And if you're only starting to learn, you just want to be able to just learn, basically, without you having to get a second mortgage out on the house. Anyway, guys, let's give it a crack, Nigel, away. Eh? <laughs> Why not, Pete? Why not? <laughs> So as you can see guys, we'll pump this thing right up now. So we're sitting at about 110 PSI and the delivery to my torch is the, uh, also 110 PSI. So I'll show you what this can cut and how long it runs for before it um, has to cut back in again before we run out of air. And then I'm going to play with the delivery to the torch and I reckon we can get it a hell of a lot better. So guys, as you can see, we've got this flat out. So here I'll try and cut about 3 mil plate guys, we've got that little compressor fully charged up so we'll see if we can actually cut something with it eh? And you take note how long it takes before that compressor clicks on again and then we'll start playing with some settings guys Right, here we go Cutting it alright on that pressure Here we go guys! See how long did that take to cut out guys? Um, it didn't take very long at all and it probably only went for, I don't know what, maybe 10 seconds. We've got a 10 second cut out of it. So guys, as you can see we've got this um, flat out. The air supply here is running at about 110. So what we want to do is just back it down a little bit. If I back it down to, let's say, 80, we'll see how we go. Yeah, we're starting to drop now, see guys? What are we up to? I'd say there we're about 70 guys, about 70 PSI. So we'll try a cut there and we'll see if it will last any longer. So guys, we've turned the torch delivery down to about 70 psi. Keep an eye on the gauges there guys, we'll see if we can get a full cut out of it. Let's have a go. Yep, full cut. See that guys? Got a full cut and the compressor still hasn't kicked in. How are we looking at the gauge? Well, we're running at 90 PSI, see? So we've dropped about 30 PSI, but we're still at 90. So, if I drop it down even further, we'll see if we can get even, maybe we might even get one and a half cuts out of it. So guys, what I'll do is we'll just charge this up again. Just pushing the plasma torch, just get the air out of it so it starts up again. Right guys, we're charged up again, so what we'll do is we'll drop it down even further. So that was still cutting alright at about 70 psi, so we'll drop it down to... 
We're at 60 there, so if I stop it at 60, pull the trigger on my torch. Where does it stop at? Yeah, about 60 there, see it's coming back up again, guys. So we're running at 60 PSI, and I'll see how long the cut goes this time, guys. Radio guys, 60 PSI. See what we're doing. Still cuts really good, guys. 3 mil plate. One cut. See how far we get on the second cut. Two cuts, guys, and we haven't even... One, two... We haven't even clicked the compressor on again. How are we looking at the gauges? So guys, we've charged it up again, and now we'll drop it down some more. We'll go from 60 to... Where do we want to go? 30? Or maybe not quite 30, Pete. We'll go to 40. 40 PSI there. No, we'll come up to... Uh, let the air out of it, Pete. See what happens. Lower it a bit more, guys. 30, 35. Yeah, that's 35 PSI there, guys. Right, and then we'll have another go. Yeah! Will we, how many cuts will we get this time, guys? Let's have a go. We got two last time. Still cutting, all right. One. Two. There, two and three quarter cuts, guys. Let me just finish cutting this off and then we'll try and see if we can get three complete cuts by dropping it just a fraction more. Yeah. One. Two, three. Right here guys, we'll try and drop it a little bit more, but I think we're getting to the limit of it. So if we drop it down to under 30. Wait until she comes up again, guys. About 25 there. Yeah, about 25. Right, we'll give that a kick in the guts. See if we can actually cut with that low air pressure, guys. Yep, still cutting through mil play, but it's getting a bit ugly. See how I'm going to have to go slower now, because there's not that much air pressure. Starting to heat up the end of my torch as well. That's about 5 psi too low. See, if you look at that, guys, it's getting quite ugly cut now, whereas the cuts before were quite good. They were nice and sharp, whereas this is starting to get a lot of dross on it. So that's about as low as we can go, about 25 PSI. But if you do it about 35 PSI, you can cut, and you can cut three times as long as what you can at 100 PSI. So if you need to cut a longer strip, then just turn your uh, ear down a little bit. And um, if you're doing it for artwork or something like that, you could actually run a little um, plasma cutter on one of those little compressors if you're only doing really short stuff. How about if you had to cut a bolt or something off with that lower air pressure? Would that work, do you reckon? Let's have a go. Look at that. Piece of cake, guys. Absolute piece of cake. And that's only on about 22, I think. 22, 23 PSI. So it does work, and uh, yeah, so you don't need a huge compressor, 
but if you're going to use it all the time, you're going to have to have a bigger compressor, obviously. But if you just want to get started, hey, why not use this? So guys, I hope they gave you some sort of idea how much you can actually plasma cut with a really, really low air pressure. And you don't have to go and buy yourself a huge compressor to start off with. You can play around for, you know, for a month or a couple of months even with your little compressor that you got, as long as you're not doing huge stretches of cuts at one time. Like I showed you before, you can even cut bolts and that sort of thing, and that's only with 20 PSI. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below, guys. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Peach Tools.com.